this is Fee. And I um, thought I'd do a whip and chat. So I uh, haven't done one for a while. Thought I'd do it as um like I do do my fortnightly vlog. But um thought I'd just come in and chat away. Uh, how do you like this? Is this close enough? I've tried to adjust it so that you can get to see the symbols. Um, not really that successful, but um, yeah, we'll get there. Mind, there is a lot of the sun colour in here, so there's going to be a bucket load of colour blocking on um, 3865, three, which is actually this one right here, the uh, good old whites. And I should have gone with a bigger tray. Okay, anyway. So, a bit of a whip and chat, a bit of an update on what's going on. Um, so, I'll do my fortnightly vlog. Whoops. That's okay, nothing spilled. That can stay there. Um, so, I'll do my fortnightly vlog and put that together. Um, I'm currently uploading Elsa because she is completed. And she is, oh, well, at this stage, 52 seconds remaining. That's not too shabby. Okay, so that's where I'm at there. So, yeah, I've completed two diamond paintings this fortnight. Um, so I need to find some more to replace it. Any suggestions? Any suggestions of companies to use? Um, I'm tempted to go back to Gemmet because their quality was really good. Um, there is some stuff on DIY Moon, which um, I want to get. So just some smaller ones that I see on DIY Moon. Just, yeah, some pretty cool ones that I like. So yeah, um, where are we at? Home life. I am back at work tomorrow. Yeah, I work one day in July. <laughs> mm. Don't tell me my first 12 and a half day back is not going to be hell on wheels, which means tomorrow when I get home from work, I'm going to be knackered. And I am not really going to be keen on doing any cooking so highly likely I might end up getting a takeaway on the way home eh. because Nathan is away so Nathan's gone fishing for well, they left on well one and a half two weeks they left on Monday night um, got the text message about 11.30 to p.m. that they that they were leaving. So, I mean, I went around to where they were, where they packed the vehicle up. I didn't stay for the full packing, um, but when they'd started, they are probably halfway through packing when I left them and said my farewells. And Nathan sent me a text message to say they were on their way. Um, just after 12. <laughs> so nearly just after midnight that was really well done didn't line those up well um i got a text message asking if i was awake and i was so i actually no i didn't get a text message i got a phone call nathan rang me and it wasn't on his phone it was on another number so i didn't recognize the number but i still answered it i was up what was I doing? Diamond painting, of course. Um, but he yeah, got the phone call, answered it, and he asked if uh, I was wide awake and okay to drive. Um, they'd had 
something to do with um, his mate's gearbox in the four-wheel drive about 100 k's out of town and um, they needed some assistance um, basically the assistance was me driving out there picking up Nathan and bringing it back to Perth um, and then because um, the four-wheel drive they went on went in was a dual cab so it sat the four sat four passengers and there was four of them out there what they had to do is uh, to come back to Perth which one was Nathan and he grabbed his four-wheel drive and he was to go back out there um, and he would then turn around and load up what's on the four-wheel drive that's broken down and hook up to the boat and he was going to drive the vehicle with um, one of the other guys out to Geraldton where he would wait for the um, other two to arrive but for the other two to arrive um, the second guy that I brought home well I shouldn't bring him home but I brought him back to Perth took him back to his place where he, he has a truck um, that a flatbed truck which can he uses to pick up vehicles um, and the plan was for him to go use the truck go pick up the ute that was broken down bring it back to Perth and then he was going to get in his own four-wheel drive um, which is only a single cab only sits two um, and then drive that out there so I did I drove and got there at about 1.30 in the morning got back home about 2.30 in the morning um, and then Nathan then took his four-wheel drive out the other guy took his truck out and now the so yeah so I think Nathan got back to the vehicle though well, they both got out back to the vehicle that's broken down about half past three in the morning and um, then the other guy loaded up the four-wheel drive onto his truck brought it back to Perth which got him back at half past four five o'clock he swapped over and got his own vehicle and so he got back on his way so about five o'clock and drove to Geraldton so they had a long night are very surprised at me on the or Nathan and the other guy in the car they're very surprised at me because I just turned around and went oh I miss nighttime country driving and they're like going what so um, in my earlier life I lived in Esperance and moved to Sejuna which is 1600 k's hey Google Convert 1,600 kilometres to miles. 1,600 kilometres equal 994.194 miles. Okay, so basically um, I moved to a town that was 1,000 miles from my original hometown. Okay, so that's where I went and lived for a bit. Um, and... yeah so I used to drive quite a lot so I used to drive Esperance Sejuna quite a bit um, when my first born was born he was born in Esperance so I went home and had him in Esperance and then came back to Sejuna um, but the, by the time he was two years old he traveled across the Nullarbor ten times so in two years I'd done more than 20,000 miles basically um, in two years and majority of that was night driving um, and love absolutely love long distance night driving so yeah they were very surprised when I turned around and said you know, I'm because yeah even though you do have to worry about 
kangaroos and, and all of that. Nighttime country diving, there's nothing like it. Because <sighs> it's just the open road, you put your foot down and yeah, just drive. Cleared the cobwebs out of my car, I tell you that much, it was really good. Okay. So he he's gone to Geraldton and then gone up to Carnarvon. He contacted me when he was Carnarvon and then they were gonna head I think they were gonna have a sleep or something, I don't know. And then they were gonna head up to where they're gone fishing, which is a place called Nalu Station. I, um, I don't know how many, how far away that is. I've never really worried about how far away it is. It's just up north. <laughs> I haven't been there. Um, so, you know, that's just... It's up north. That's all I need to know. Um, so, yeah. And he'll be back. They, they're saying Friday week. Um, I told his mate not to bring him back early to stay out there for as long as possible um, the last time they did a fishing trip was supposed to be two weeks back in May they had issues and came back in three days <laughs> yeah so hopefully it all goes well out there and um, they what they say is back out which is they catch their each day and that's what you hope for that's why they go fishing um, hmm. oh pardon me so yeah that's that side of it that's where we're at um, I've invited my son and his girlfriend around for dinner tonight cooking up some garlic prawns I can't cook sorry I can cook but I'm not allowed to cook no, I wouldn't even say not allowed to cook. In consideration for Nathan, I don't cook garlic prawns when he is at home. So garlic prawns is a treat. When he goes away, I cook up garlic prawns. And um, because he is allergic to prawns. So he's now to the degree where he probably should have an EpiPen Um but, you know, males, they don't like doing that side of shit. But I think if he eats prawns again, I'll be taking him, he'll, I reckon he'll end up in hospital. Because <laughs> each time it's worse, because he loves prawns. So he will still eat them. Um, which is why I won't cook them, because he'll have a couple and just, I think one now, he has a reaction with one with his throat getting itchy. So that's my treat while he's away. I mean, other treats while he's away is the fact that um, <laughs> I have the bed all to myself. Well, me and the dog. Um, and I cook when I'm ready to cook, or I cook. Um, yeah, basically, you know, when I'm ready to eat, I'll cook something. So yeah. Alrighty, so we had the dp a -thon on the weekend, which was fantastic. Um, I had a technical issue. Um, my computer, which is on its last legs, <laughs> um, is not happy it wasn't happy about just running and running and running all that time um, and not being shut down so at the point of going live um, my computer was just not cooperating so I had to reboot so yeah so I did a reboot and eventually I got back on to the live which was fantastic Um, met a heap of new new creators. Um, I gained some subscribers. 
but all in all had a great time. Now there is going to be another DP-a-thon and it looks like <laughs> by the sound of it a lot of people have expressed an interest in being a part of it. It goes to show you there is a lot of diamond painting creators out there or diamond you know crafty YouTubers out there. Um, you know I've been doing YouTube for well, nearly 12 months I have a very small subscriber count which is really good it's really cool um, I have some fantastic su surprise, surprises S some fantastic subscribers um, that comment on I think they comment some comment on every video which is really fantastic um, and you know I don't as I think I've said it before, this is a hobby. I don't care if it goes big or not. Um, would be nice, but um, I I looked at. I was watching something today. Um, Creator Fundamentals. So he does a um, a live YouTube thing. Um, and I was looking at watching that, and he had he was talking about revenue. On YouTube because he turns around and he says you know let's face it if you go on YouTube you the main one of the reasons you want to go on YouTube is to um, earn a little bit of cash whether it's to actually give up your day job or your real job and but use YouTube to self to support you by YouTube um, so that was pretty cool to watch but he turned around and he was saying you know for you to Revenue on YouTube AdSense, which is your advertising that you get on YouTube. Um, he'd been doing it for two years, I think it was. He'd been had his YouTube channel for two years. He'd reached his subscriber count in hours. Um, by the time he'd uploaded loaded his, I think it was his 100th video. But he showed how much revenue he'd earned from um, AdSense um, in that period of time. And he's got like 38,000 subscribers now. And in two years, just the ads is, I think, $7,000 in just in the ads. And you know, he turned around and said, "You don't, unless you have, uh, you know, basically, uh, you know, a million subscribers, right? You don't make money. You don't wait, make good enough money to um, to actually stop a full-time day job just based on the AdSense. Um, to be able to make enough to do that." You need to get into affiliate programs, and it was talking about all other stuff you get into to be able to make money like that. So one of the things with um, YouTube, they offer a YouTube Premium or something. So he, you know, he's like one of the things you can do is encourage the subscribers to get youtube premium because then you don't they don't have to watch ads but when they actually watch your videos it registers that you have watched their ads so therefore they're getting revenue off those ads even if um even though you're not watching them so for those that don't have the premium um you know some viewers skip through ads and you don't get as much revenue with or um, I think it is if you if somebody just you, I think you've got to watch a minimum of six minutes of the video no I think it might be six minutes of the video I'm not I can't remember that but there's a certain amount of length of time you, that a subscriber or the a viewer needs to watch a video for it actually to make money and some ads 
some of the ads that go on YouTube, if you've got a smaller, shorter video, um, you find that the shorter video won't get ads because it's not long enough to be classes for an ad. Um, whereas if you do a video probably about 15 minutes or more, or 15 minutes, um, it's long enough to hold people's attention. Um, and if you do, instead of doing one long video that goes for an hour, or actually exaggerate it, I'll go say two hours. So if you do a YouTube video for two hours and upload it, the you'll get four or five ads in there, or four four lots, four or five lots of ads in there. So um, you get find that um, not many ads in, in comparison to. If you put up a 15 minute video, um, it gets, so if you've got 15 minutes, so there's four videos in an hour or eight videos in a, for a two hour slot, right? If you look at the fact that the more views you get, the more you earn. So by putting out videos that are short videos, 15 minutes to half an hour, just enough to keep people's interest to watch the thing fully. Um, you'll earn more in revenue than if you were putting out a two hour video. So where you've got YouTubers that are trying to make a lot of money or creators that are trying to really push their channel and earn as much as they can, you'll find that they do short videos. Just because the short videos hold your attention span for long enough for them to earn revenue off without you getting bored with what they do. But as he said, um, some people do these shorter videos to try and get more revenue, but end up those 15 minute videos unless they're quick instructional videos um, if they're just filled up with um, stuff is that the best way to put it? stuff um, and no real content and you're just basically doing it to build your channel you have your subscribers yes you get a lot of videos but eventually people stop watching because they're actually not getting real value out of watching the videos. Um, you know, I will admit that for me, I've had some people that I've, excuse me, <coughs> YouTube channels that I've subscribed to where they used to do longer videos where I watch or listen to while I'm drilling. So I'll sit and drill for two hours and I would rather listen to somebody nattering on for two hours than um, just these quick 15 half an hour time slots because I don't like the ads so I will stop what I'm doing and click through the ads or I'll have to muck around and go okay I've watched that one what one will I watch next and I'd rather hear uh, a nice whip and tap chat and just listen sorry I'm looking at how long I've been chatting for um, so yeah and you know you just listen because you get into the flow you listen to this whoever it is is talking and um, yeah you might get some ads in there, but you're not having to stop and start as much. Um, you know, 
so I've found that the YouTube creators that are starting to just fill their their YouTube channel with stuff and I will say it is stuff there is just I don't know uh, yeah um, I've actually stopped watching because I don't know what's really worth watching and what's just something I'm, I'm going to look at briefly and go yeah no that doesn't interest me because it's just stuff but I mean that's that's just me and my personal preference I have one where is it hang on a sec if I can find it I have I'm just trying to find her trouble is I watch her and I okay there's one person that I listen to and um, diamond painting and stitching with Laura I think she puts up a video every day but she has um, her chats go for around about half an hour and she actually sits there and has a conversation about what she's done for the day and she does also put some out tri ticks and trips out but um, you know she talks about the diamond painting and, what's, and also what she's doing but it's not just stuff I don't know how to put it <coughs> and I don't want to be a, offend anyone but going and grabbing going to the shops and I don't know I do like seeing shopping hauls <coughs> but I watched some channels for diamond I watched most of my channels for diamond painting and so their shopping hauls that I like seeing is if it's for craft stuff that's relevant to diamond painting or some other craft that I'm, I'm into um, who else oh my sm clothes that smell like candles I love her videos I will say it. Um, she's an absolute sweetheart I will watch her videos right throughout right through um, because I used to sell candles so her go her going to the shops is totally different to some of the other shopping sprees that you hear now it's all, all personal taste <coughs> but she actually gets there and describes the different fragrances so yeah there's a shopping spree in there that she talks about but she's actually talking about the product really well and really does describe the candle fragrances so well that it's like oh if I had that store I'd be going there <laughs> um, but it's just about all all relevant to what um, what I like but her videos are not short um, and she doesn't turn well I mean she doesn't put out a video every day or every second day she, you know she's doing um, YouTube because she enjoys it so yeah check her out she's quite humorous um, and you know I've I don't know there's some youtubers out there that I've just yeah yeah they're pretty cool to watch for a little while but then it's like not quite my cup of tea oh yeah anyway <coughs> I'm not going to make this a short video because I like to be able to sit there for me I like to listen to somebody nattering on and I'll zone in and out 
So hopefully you're zoning in and out. Um, what else has happened? Oh, okay, so there's three customs have been ordered. So waiting for those. And what I will do is okay, to go that far. Um, those three customs will be. I'll unbox them. And then I'm going to send a link to the videos of the unboxings. I'm going to keep them private and then put the links to the unboxings um, into emails and send them off. Uh, email them to the three ladies that are receiving them. So they will be able to see the unboxing in private. And then what I'd probably like to do is actually have those three ladies let me know when they've received it. Um, so yeah. But what I'm looking at you doing, and I don't know how they come in packaging. Um, yeah, I don't know how they come packaged. But what I will do is, because I'm going to unbox them, I'm actually going to put them into tubes. Um, postal tubes, like Evermoment sends their tubes, because you know once I open it, I want to be able to wrap it up nicely and make sure it is in excellent condition. Um, the customs actually been told they will be I have the clear cover, so they will have poured glue. So I won't be lifting the cover off. Um, the cover will stay as it is. Um, so we'll be able to see the quality of the symbols and all of that. Um, but yeah, so when they arrive, I will actually, because they're being ordered through um, a lady here in Perth. And I will put the link down below for her. Um, <coughs> I will put the link down below for her. Um, Facebook group so when they arrive I'm going to actually go and meet, her, meet up with her and I've been saying I'd meet her for a while and just never have so it'll be a perfect opportunity to go eat, meet Viv um, but yeah so I will unbox those three on, um, live and uh, not live I will unbox those three on video and then I will package them and I will send them off so that we will get them to and um, I'm not sure on the cost of sending them but I will be sending them the fastest freight I can because we all like to get stuff for quite a while for quick now for those that are wondering why I'm doing these three customs Because these ladies actually listened to a video a while ago, all the way through to the end, and they followed the instructions. When people do giveaways, it's quite interesting because you can tell there's a giveaway being done and everybody tries to join in. So in this video, I turned around and said that for, I'll get everybody that listens to the end of it to send me an email and not to make any mention of it in the comments that I have a, um, that I had a giveaway. So the giveaway was when I reached 500 subscribers, I would um, draw out one of those people that contacted me and they would get a 40 by 50 custom when I reached 500 subscribers so I did the draw did that offer before I reached 500 and in that I had three people email me 
um, with those specific instructions okay so um, to actually get a true viewer someone who watches all the way through um, you cannot in the title and in the comments if there's any mention of a giveaway people jump in and they don't watch and listen to your content fully so to get rewarded for being someone that goes and listens through because it wasn't right at the end but they listen through when they do actually listen to the whole video um, they deserve to be rewarded um, which is really fantastic so yeah only three people um, responded they did not put anything in the comments about the giveaway which then meant that only the true the people that really do watch me were part of it um, I didn't need to have them actually prove that they were subscribed because these are ladies that make comments on my YouTube channel they make comments in a lot of YouTube channels but they you know they're always commenting and on those comments you can tell they're actually listening to you so ladies thank you very much so those three ladies ended up I turned around and made the decision well I'm not going to draw to a drawing between just three people so I sent them an email I actually did talk about it in one of my, in one of my vlogs but I sent them an email to say this is what you've uh, this is what I've decided to do um, please pick from one of the three pictures as a custom so then I sent the three pictures off to the ladies and funnily enough the pictures that I sent them none of them selected the same image which is fantastic you know that really does mean that the pictures that I've um, that I have kind of interest different different pictures in different people um, but what it also means is I was going to be able to have customs done that I hadn't seen before and I haven't done so these are customs I'm thinking about doing for myself and two of them one of them is actually the leopard picking his his lips well her lips sitting in the tree so we've seen that I've done that custom as a 40 by 50 so we know we know how as a 40 by 50 it turns out really well but we do have the other two pictures that were selected I haven't done so they haven't been seen anywhere um, so yeah really 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 wrapped to that with that so but it's all about good loyal subscribers that watch channel right watch my youtube videos right through or they don't may not necessarily watch them all the way through but they do like i do for the channels that i watch and subscribe to i'll actually sit there and diamond paint right through um you know because I just sit in diamond paint and I like to listen to YouTube videos and the longer ones I enjoy so much because I can just sit and drill and I don't have to go clicking through and choose stopping and choose stopping and starting yeah so that's that's great fantastic I'm starting to get cold toes here. Just hold on a sec. I'll be back in a sec. My toes are warmer now. And I actually realised that my camera was in the wrong position. And yes, I was talking and drilling. But you were seeing the back of me. And you were seeing my chair. I, you weren't actually seeing me. And I actually think I might need to... Move the camera still a bit. Oh, hang on a sec. 
Excuse the mess up there on my kitchen bench. Okay, so back to it. I actually can't remember what I, what I was saying. Oh gosh, that's really funny. But yeah, I mean that's where you know for my I, I like to recognise my subscribers. Um, I am contemplating doing a Facebook group. Um, but I'm not sure how to go with it. Um, so, you know, do I, do I make a name, a new name for myself, um, and a Facebook group based on that name, or what do I do? So I'm going to, my son's going to be here tonight for dinner garlic prawns so you know, I've invited him and his girlfriend over so I'm going to see if they can help me out while they are here uh, with creating a Facebook group page or whatever I don't know what it is that I need to do um, because I I don't share videos on other uh, other Facebook groups because it's not my Facebook group to do so. I have done it on some pages where they allow it. Some Facebook groups allow it. When it's um, a group type thing, it's not a creator's page. You know, it's like, well, Wolfpack, there's Stephanie there. For her, I, I'll post photos, but I won't post links. That's her channel to advertise her YouTube site um, you know so I, I need to do that myself yes I have an Instagram but I always forget to post stuff on Instagram whereas Facebook Facebook I remember to post stuff so you'll see that where I do post stuff it's under my name on other people's channels so excuse me um, it's under my name and you know I post stuff when it's completed um, which is the steampunk and um, picture you know and when I've completed something or when I'm actually in a live I will actually pro post the picture of my um, progress um, this is where I'm at while I'm on your live type thing which is really good but don't share any video footage no YouTube clips um, the I mean diamond painting 101 or something like that I do share on there on the odd occasion um, there's an Australian Facebook group that I did share um, God my nose is really annoying me where I did share uh, the Gemmet unboxing I should have posted that steampunk there um, but that's an Australian group and that's an Australian and Gem is in Australia or it's Western Australia which is my state so yeah look out for my Facebook group um, when I get some assistance with my from my son and his girlfriend so try and set it up properly um, so yeah that's that's about where I'm at with that side of things uh, hang on I need to look at my computer I need to look at my web page my YouTube channel okay so my Elsa has finished Kidding up. There we go, that's what you'll hear. I just need to. Excuse me. <coughs> oh, sorry. Hang on a sec. I apologize. My nose um, and it's still not happy with me. Where's my bin? Um, but I do have a box of tissues now. What I did just do then was um, 
I actually made the review for Elsa um, okay sorry I just made the review for Elsa public so now if anybody's uh, viewing it which funnily enough so I've just put made that public and it looks like somebody's already done it on there um, yeah um, this is I, this I'm a, a stats person so that's where I like that so I thought I'd um, while I'm uploading it I thought well well considering it's live I might well I might as well set the live updates to see who's looking at it so it's pretty cool when I go oh somebody's looking at it oh yeah but yeah my nose is not happy with me by the look of it and this has only just started today and I'm back to work tomorrow so hmm fun day tomorrow um oh yeah okay so now that's a little bit of chat about that um Victoria's moon which is where this little where's my finger there we go that little train line is from I will say this much um, quality of the drills you know there's still I'll put that there oh that's a hang on I've just got one that I've dropped which is the last color is I'll pop that there um as you say yeah just the quality of the drills the squares just phenomenal I'm loving working on this um I haven't needed my magnifying glass to look at these um what I do find is rounds I get away with straightening after I've put them together squares if you use this little tool whoops little tool when you've done some of it it's easier to do at this stage than it is once they're all together just while you've still got a little bit of leeway and while well, you've still got the opportunity to move them just a slight bit but because of the way that I'm actually putting them on I'm not oh excuse me Oh, that was disgusting um, so yeah because I'm not using the multi placer I get I get a better effect um, yeah um, and using the checkerboard method with most of it yeah it just it makes it easier for any diamond square that you do as soon as you start using a multi placer on a square you will find that your squares will go out of line a bit straightening tool works but um, if they're poor quality drills and you use a straightening tool it's not going to make that much of a difference because with poor quality drills they're different sizes they've got knobbly bits um, but I mean they're just how good is that tray That, you know it's it's nice they are nice quality drills so I look forward to actually I suppose that's the next thing I'll probably I'll order around from them next I think see how that goes probably cool to see how they go with their customs Oops. the glue is super sticky and really holds so you can't wriggle these into place if you actually do put them down and you really do need to straighten it up use your tweezers to pick it up and I mean oh yeah there we go every now and then oh there's a little knobbly bit on that one I'll just put that one aside I got a knobbly bit wow 
Did you see the knobbly bit? Hang on. Fine. Turn it. Okay. It's just a very tiny knobbly bit, which probably wouldn't cause any issue. Which is why I'm putting it aside and not in my junk, which yeah, my junk is yeah. You can see def there's some definite junk there, but not much. Oh yeah, um, I do believe that knobbly bit wouldn't make much of a difference. That's not much to worry about. Oh, I forgot what it was like to work with tweezers. Um, how many of you guys use tweezers? I love using tweezers. Um, I have a lot more control with tweezers because I'm making sure I am placing them down in the right spot. And if they're going down and I can see they're not quite in the right spot, um, I can pick them up. Because you can see when you're lining it up that it's not quite right. Whereas with a pen it's just bang, straight down, straight in. Oh yeah, I do like my tweezers. Um, DIY Moon has um, some tweezers that I want to get. We'll see how that goes. Whoop, there we go, somebody else is looking at my review. <laughs> Whoops, that one, <laughs> I flung that one. Um, <laughs> how long am I going to sit here watching those? So this, oh, it's only a short video so far, anyway. Between, this pause was not very long. Um, but yeah, I like using tweezers. When you diamond paint for a long period of time, being able to rotate your tools like you do, you rotate, like, well, like I do, rotate um, that one aside like I rotate my diamond paintings to keep my momentum is probably the best way to put it you know um, I get a lot of diamond paintings done because I don't get bored with the same colors you know oh, gosh so I mean like you look at steampunk with all the reds and the blank blacks and the really dark colors there and then um, Elsa, which was very light colours. This one um, being square with purples and blues. You know, that's why I rotate because you, your interest stays. Um, I do. Oh, sorry, just heard a noise. Um, I do find that. The next um, how do I put it? The next um, thing I'm working on, I've got to go back onto my big two meter waterfall and um, what else I've got the oh my blank custom. So with the fact that I went away, um, you know, I've been catching up on stuff and then I wanted to get Steampunk and Elsa completed and then this one came in which I needed to upload um, and the DP-a-thon. So those are two that I haven't worked on since I come back from Cairns, which I came back from Cairns, what, two weeks ago? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Um... Oh, excuse me. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to getting back into them. Um, I do kind of have a, a push to get this one done. Um, yeah, the sooner I get this one done, the sooner I can do the review and finish it off. And, you know, I'm, I don't know whether I class myself as a review channel. Because when I unbox, I never unbox the same way. <laughs> I never look for exactly the same things. What I look for is when I unbox something, I tend to look for 
what I've had issues with in the last few that I unboxed or whatever. Um, and you know, I miss things. <laughs> it's not like I have a checklist of going, I need to check this, 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 this. You know, um, it's all, oh, well, I'll have a look at this now. I'll look at this now, you know. You do have your standard stuff, but this is the toolkit. Um, you know, like most of the times I measure my canvas. I don't think I measured this one. <laughs> you know, just um, symbol clarity. That's another one that I tend to miss. But if I've been having issues with a diamond painting with the symbol clarity, you'll find that when I unbox the next ones that I'm working, next ones that arrive, it's something that I do focus on because I've had issues with it just recently. Um, so yeah. Oh, pardon me, pardon me. Oh. oh. Had a late night last night. <laughs> Nathan's not here, so. I'll go, go, go to bed when I'm ready to go to bed. Um, but last night, I didn't realise what the time was, but I finished Elsa. Um, and I recorded it last night. And then after I recorded it, it was like, well, you know, when I complete a diamond painting, I like to de-kit, which, so I de-kitted Elsa. And then when I de-kitted Elsa, it was like, oh, I need to clean my desk. So I cleaned, I started to clean my desk and then I looked at the, I got a bookcase, uh, that side of me. <laughs> um, yep, that's the right angle. Um, and it's just been piling up and piling up and piling up. So, you know, I've got, I've got the bookcase and then I've got another cupboard next to it which has you know like the printer and my big hard drive all of that um, and Nathan's always like going you're gonna clean this shit up you know because it's just I come home from work and that's where I dump stuff or while I'm diamond painting it's like oh, I'll just get that out of my way and I put it on the shelf on the on the bookshelf um, so yeah, I started on the desk and they went, oh, oh I can't know where to throw this stuff on the bookcase. So, oh, well, I'll clear out the bookcase. Um, I think I finished de-kitting Elsa about 11.30 at night <laughs> and I went to bed at half past three. But I have cleaned the bookcase. I've cleaned the cupboard where I just tend to throw my handbag and all of that so we can now see the printer um, and I cleared the desk so everything is where it should be with the exception of one thing which I brought the other day and I'm actually not quite sure where to put it so that's sitting on the floor next to my desk it's too Yeah, kind of too long from a bookcase, but it's the shelf needs to be longer. But um, yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll work a spot where to put it. But at the moment, it is in a good spot for when I de kit any rounds. Okay, so yeah, I I cleaned um, my desk up and my bookcase. So when Nathan comes home from fishing <laughs> we'll go what the hell have you done you finally did it <laughs> I mean I there's you know there's, there's areas in your house where you constantly clean you know there's jobs that you do always to keep your house nice and then there's those little jobs like that you just put off and put off you know and I actually that was one of them. I've got another one I've got to do, which is that I keep putting off and putting off, uh, which is actually getting to and cleaning my oven. I mean, it's not bad, 
but just you know th th that's an example of a job you just put off and put off because you know it's like ah oh. when you clean stuff and sort out stuff you know it's standard housework when you're straightening stuff up is is easy to do in itself because it's straightening stuff up and cleaning stuff like that whereas clearing that tidying up a bookcase um, cleaning an oven the it's not just the job of doing it but after you've done it you need to do something with the rubbish <laughs> you know you, you clear up stuff but then you've got find places for other stuff and like with does that make sense with the oven you know at the end of it you've got a really nice clean oven <laughs> but then you've got all the paper and all the towels and everything else you put down on the floor um, that you need to clean up and deal with afterwards and then you've got to do the floor clean the actual floor afterwards to make sure you've you know you've not made a mess on the any mess you've made on the floor that the paper and the towels didn't catch you know, I cleaned up and put away. Mm. You know, just just little things like that. Yeah, you know, the jobs where the actual job makes a difference, are doing, but cleaning after the job. I'm just having a struggle to see that that one that I keep dropping. But cleaning up after the job, you know, that's you do one job of cleaning, and then you got to clean up the mess that you made because you're cleaning. And they're the ones, they're the jobs that I put put aside. Oh yeah. Just give it a bit of a straighten. But, um, so one of the things with last night was that I thought, oh well I'll stay up at least till, it's okay, you know, I'll, when I realised the time's like, Oh, well, I'll stay up and watch Steely's um, live because she's scheduled for a live. And thought it was really strange that I hadn't see, seen any notification that she was going to go live. And then realised that I was on the wrong date. So it's like I've stayed up, made sure of, you know, like I got to three o'clock. I was like, oh, I'll stay up half an hour more because then it's Steely be, be on live. Um, and then realised that no, she's not going to be going live. I was like, oh bugger! So I did something to try and see Dealey's live, and successfully failed because her live is not for 24 hours after I was ready. And when Dealey goes live, which will be tonight or tomorrow morning my time, which will be half past three tomorrow morning. Um, when she goes live, I will be in bed asleep because my alarm will be going off at about 5 to 5 in the morning. So she'll pro her live will probably be still going when I get out of bed. So yeah. But maybe next. Oh next one but I think Nathan might be back oh Nathan will probably be back but then my mum will be staying here so me being up at half past three in the morning her where she sleeps so my guest bedroom is so you see there's a door back behind my back here there's a door there that's where the that's the guest bedroom so if I'm going to watch a live, I've got to put my headset on. And then, you know, dealies lives, you tend to laugh while watching. So, so yeah. But I suppose I'm going to... Oh, two people are watching one of my videos at the same time. Oh, hang on. I know I've had oh there we go and again what am I looking at hang on I'll show you what I'm looking at 
so there we go you get channel analytics and that was what I was just looking at is the fact that um, get my hand in the right spot there we go those bars there representing people looking at my YouTube clips yeah. which is really cool that's what I like watching because I'm a stats person I just like to see stuff like that um, so yeah um, I was actually going to do I've, I've got the tag list for the diamond painting tag list for the whip and chat tag get to know me type thing that Marissa put out ages ago so Marissa McCartney she put it out ages ago Oh, there we go. There's something. They're a bit stuck together. Oh no. No, they're okay. Um, and I keep meaning to when I, you know, keep meaning to do a whip and chat so that then I can do this tag list. Um, but I just haven't gotten there yet. So I'll get there eventually. So I'll leave you to it. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this little bit of a chat. Um, you know, I suppose I touched on some stuff that makes sense but doesn't make sense when it comes to what I watch on YouTube. Um, what we've got now is, I suppose that's one thing we'll say, what, what we've got now with after the dp -thon is I've subscribed to quite a lot of new creators so um you know i'll get there and i'll watch i'm watching them and watching their style to see if it's um yeah to see see how they do things and to see if their style is something that i enjoy watching i mean there's some creators out there that so funny i have subscribed to and then started to find that I wasn't watching their subscriptions any their videos anymore. So I actually unsubscribed to them because I don't need to see them on my feed. Um, yeah, but so I've got a heap of new channels to watch and see how they go. Um, because you sh that's one thing you <laughs> you know I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> You shouldn't subscribe to a channel just because um, they're subscribed to you, which is true. Um, but then you shouldn't be subs if you have a heap of people you're subscribed to, and you don't watch them. So if you go into your subscription list, you got to scroll through those. So because you know you're not going to watch them anyway, so you might as well just take them off your subscription and yeah be done with so you don't have to you can only watch what you the people you want to watch oh yeah hopefully you want to watch me yeah yet again um youtube's you know a hobby and especially when it's something like this so i'm just sitting here basically i suppose you're getting my opinion on things and you're getting my scatterbrain and that's that one with the knobbly bit that I keep picking up. There is a way around that. Where is it? Because it's only the one, this is going to look really funny. It's not going to make much of a difference. I need to grab it the right way. Whoops. Knobbly bit gone. Now I use it. <laughs> That's how you get rid of knobbly bits. Sorry, I should have done that up here where you can see it. I just grabbed that in the tweezers and just rubbed it. Nail flies are great. When they're small knobbly bits, that's one of the reasons why getting tweezers in kits is so handy. 
even with my fingernails there's no chance would I be picking that one up and rubbing it against the um, nail file I wouldn't be able to hold it in my nails let alone put a nail file near these nails because the only people that put a nail file I only have one technician that she's the one that puts a nail file near these fingers oh, yeah. which I hope you're liking at the moment my son doesn't like these he doesn't like these ones he doesn't like it when I put bling on my nails because it's not that he doesn't like the look but he just reckons to have something stuck on your nails would be irritating and annoying and get in your way I will say the one on the thumbnail that one does I'm not going to get any that's the first time I've had uh, one put on my thumbnail I won't be doing that again um, not on the thumb Okay, so I went to end the whipping chat. Now I'm talking again. So now I'm going to have another go at ending the whipping chat and say thank you for joining me. Hopefully you're still at the end. Um, I really do appreciate the subscribers that I have. And um, I'm going to continue to dine and paint and start watching the YouTube creators. So I will talk to you later. Bye.